or Alyssa and Jacko, world champions last year. Um, Yale and Riley had a race at the national championships against them, and uh, it was a tight race. It was a really exciting race. Yale's just come off the back of the K2 final 20 minutes ago, so she's backing up very tight. Um, but I know Alyssa and Jacko love this race. Um, they loved winning last year. They they won really convincingly, and they had a really great race. Mm. So I know they're excited for this. There is the problem, though, of the crew in lane six. Uh, the, 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 I'm not going to say the veterans, but the experienced combination of Teresa Portella and Fernando Pimenta, they've won before. I think they won in... Um Mm, my memory. A World Cup, maybe? They ran a World Cup in uh, in um, Poznan, I think it was. Of course, Pimenta is such a competitor. You can never write him off. Every time he gets in the boat, he just wants to put on a show and give it his best shot. And Teresa Portello, well, what more can we say? I mean, she's been racing for a long, long time, so experienced, and uh, they were a really good combination, so they'll give this a good shake. Uh, of course, the Hungarians are strong. Uh, Kisko and Becke are strong. Um... Travitsky and Ordosi. The Danes are here. The Italians have two boats in the final. And uh, there's the uh, Mia Medved and Rock Schmidt from Slovenia, also quite a strong co combination. But there are your reigning champions. Jackson Collins at the front, at the back, sorry, and Alyssa Bull at the front. And here they are, Fernando Pimenta racing without a hat, which is unusual for Pimenta. He's Maybe he's got a new do. You've got to match your teammate, and so if Teresa didn't want to wear one, then he can't wear one. Is maybe. that right? You do have to completely match your teammate. I think bar the sunnies. So it, is that true? I didn't know that. If so I'm if wearing a hat, you're wearing a hat. If I'm wearing a white spray deck, you're wearing a white spray deck. If I'm wearing a thermal, white thermal, you're wearing a white thermal, yeah. So that's a rule or is this just a... a no, no, it's a, it's a rule. Well, well, and well. And it makes us look good, doesn't it? It does make you look good. <laughs> and it looks good for television as well. Exactly. I mean, you don't want Fernando Pimenta sitting here with his tatty old hat on uh, at the back of the boat with uh, Teresa Portella hatless. Uh, but obviously you can have sunglasses on or sunglasses off can, there because the Italians are going for the mixed approach there. But this will be a great race. The two Australians, keep yourself under control here. Thank you. At least, but uh, we'll see how the Australians go and the Portuguese. I think that's it's going to be a race in three. It will I'm, be. I'm tipping here between Portugal and the two Australian crews. Don't discount the Hungarians. Of course, they've had a great day. <coughs> Pardon me. They've already won two gold medals. Could they finish off this program? with a goal. So we're underway and it looked like uh, the Bull Jackson Collins combination were a little bit slow out but they picked up the pace pretty quickly. So it's the three that we mentioned who are going out the hardest at the moment. That's Stoner Prize and Fitzsimmons. Collins and Bull alongside them and from Pimenta and Portella uh, alongside them. How are they looking at this stage, Elise? Oh, they both look really good. I think you'll expect Bully and Jacko to come through at the end. Riley and Yale, great off the start. They look really nice together. The Al just tucking in behind Riley there, getting out of the wind a bit. And then if you look at um, the other boat with Bully and Jacko, they're almost doing wheelies down the course. Jacko's a, a big guy and can push some serious weight. And so he'll just be pushing Bully the whole way home. But obviously Pimenta and, and Teresa Portella coming through. It's very tight there. 0.2 between the top three. Yeah, really, really tight. And uh, you know that Pimenta, he can paddle all day. So there's no problems there with him getting the distance. It'll be a real f test of the, uh, the staying power. But look at Bull and Collins now. They've Here decided they to slip it up a gear. And Ali Bull, when she gets her mindset, look at that. She is gritting her teeth and she's saying, let's go. Are Absolutely. You, are you with me, Jacko? Yes, I am. Go, Bully. And they're, so They're both always there at the end. And you can see 100 metres to go there. They're absolutely giving it. Preventa and, and Portella also really pushing through to the end, but I think um, Bully and Jacko, the Aussies, are, are going to run away with it. Yeah, it could even be a gold and silver for the Australians if Fitzsimmons, and uh, I think the uh, the Portuguese will hold on, but that's a great race here for the Australians. Gold, oh, they did get the silver. One, there two. you go. Big finish from Fitzsimmons and Stoner Prize. The Portuguese ran into a brick wall with about 50 to go, but there you go. Winners are grinners. Alyssa Bull, Jackson Collins, gold medalists. And the silver going to Riley Fitzsimmons and Yale Steiner Prize, the, uh, their Australian teammates. What a great way for the Australians to finish off this morning's competition and, and perfectly judged race, at least, for the, as you would expect from someone with the experience of Alyssa Bull. Yeah, they timed that to perfection. They both know they have a really strong finish. You know, you've got to get out with the field, but you don't have to be that far in front of the field, and then you can just push home and, and just 
I guess, unleash everything uh, towards the end. You can see the grit on their face. It hurts towards the end, that's for sure. Look at this finish here from the second Australian crew. They're still behind there, but they've lifted in the last 20 metres to pip the, uh, the Portuguese. We've got the bronze and Pimenta doubling over there. That was obviously a tough race for him. He's got the 5,000 this afternoon, of course. But congratulations to the Australian there you are. Does that make you feel a bit homesick? <laughs> I think it makes me feel proud. Yeah. <laughs> the kangaroo and the emu uh, on our coat of arms. But congratulations to the Australians. Congratulations to everybody in this exciting... And I think what we saw is that this is an exciting event, the mixed yeah. racing. From what we saw there, it's just a, a really great television spectacle and great for the crowd here as well to, to see these athletes coming together and trying to work out the best combinations and as Elise said who goes at the front who goes at the back it's uh, a lot of thought goes into these sorts of races looking forward to hearing uh, Alyssa Ball hopefully she won't swear uh, <laughs> and uh, Jackson Collins talk about their win in the mixed K2 congratulations guys it's a strong finish isn't it Oh, um, yeah, it's, it's such a tough race. Um, I feel so lucky being able to, yeah, do these mixed events with the boys. And, yeah, Jacko is amazing in more ways than one. So, yeah, it's good. From your UU? Oh, it's just lots of fun. It's a really good event. It's a tough race. K2500 is one of the hardest races out there. So it's so much fun to be able to do it with Bully and be able to get the win today. Okay, what lessons can be learned from today's race? If it has. Um, I don't know actually, just keep fighting all the way to the end. There's, these, these races are really tight and you've got to be able to finish really well, so it was good that we had that back end. Alisa Jackson, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Jackson's dad will be proud, I'm sure. I'm sure he would have been yelling at the TV back home. Yep. It's night time after dinner, so stayed up late to watch this and, and look how happy they are. It's, it's really cool to see in a, a very very cool event. She's probably saying, I think I was out of the water when you were pushing home so hard. <laughs> I didn't even get the front of the boat wet. Yeah. yeah. yeah but uh, that's great and uh, a great combination uh, for the Australians. And good to see an Australian combination pushing them as well. So there'll be a bit of rivalry there uh, when they get back home or get to the training camps to see. Um, so are you going to separate camps, the, the men's and the women's? The men, yeah, will go back um, to Zolnok for a bit of a camp before they go into Poznan for World Cup 2. Uh, our female team are opting out of World Cup 2 to do an altitude camp, and then we head home at about the same time. So 